Today we're making risotto in the Emile Henri Flame cookware. This is a ceramic cookware that behaves much like cast iron, but it's about 30% lighter in weight. It holds heat just as well. So in here right now, I have sauteed some shallots in some oil. Now I'm about to add the rice. And today I'm using carnaroli rice, which I think is a much better rice than arborio. It holds its shape and texture much better. So we're gonna toast that for a little bit. And then we'll add broth. So you wanna toast this up till it gets slightly opaque. So that'll take a few minutes. One of the things I love about these pans too is on the lids, you'll notice these little dimples. When you're doing something like a true braise, that will collect the moisture where if you have a little bit of broth or liquid and a large piece of meat or something else, it will actually keep basting the top of what you're cooking rather than just dribbling down the sides. These can go on the stove top, even over a higher heat. They can go in the microwave. They're one of my favorite stew pots. Now over here, I have some broth cooking. This is a mushroom broth. And then I have right now soaking some porcini mushrooms. And we'll strain those, chop them up, add some of that liquid as well when we're done. So it's starting to turn a little opaque. So I'm gonna add a little bit of rice, of uh, broth. If you want, you could add wine first. At this point, about half a cup. And then I'm just gonna stir this and keep stirring until most of the liquid's been absorbed. I'll just keep adding liquid a little bit at a time. And we'll be back later and show you the finished product. So as you can see, we're about 10 minutes in and I have added the chopped porcini mushrooms and some of the liquid and then I added the rest of the liquid to the broth. So we just keep adding a little bit at a time. It's getting nice and yummy looking in there. Wanted to share one of my tricks if you're lucky enough to have a Vitamix for doing Parmesan for risotto. My son used to hate having it Daddy, my hand hurts, you know, doing a cup and a half of Parmesan. So now you just take your Parmesan, little chunks in here. Put the lid on. Done. We'll add that later and it'll add some great flavor and depth. The risotto is now ready. It's been cooking for a total of about 25 minutes or so. It's all nice and creamy and held together. This is kind of what you want. It's what the Italians call al ondolo or, or wavy. Because we're going to add the cheese and then it's going to be, let it sit for a few minutes. And then it'll be all ready to go. So just add the cheese. Mix it in right there. Let that sit for a few minutes. Now would be a great time if you had any fresh peas, just to add the shelled peas raw, and the residual heat would cook them. You can do the same thing with raw corn if you wanted. You could add a pesto to this. Lemon zest and mushroom actually works really well. So lots of things you could do with risotto. Come on by. We're ready to sample it out for you. See you soon.